Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to Scooter's Coffee Drive Thru. It's um, it's like a little place that it's a little coffee shop, but they also sell food and stuff. They just opened this up recently in uh, our area, so I'm going to go through. Um, I guess I go through drive through right there. Uh, yeah, I'll go through drive through right there. So uh, I'm going to go in. I mean, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go through drive through and order some stuff, and I'll be right back. There's always cars in this drive through, by the way. So they've been pretty pretty regular and they got something they call it nitro cold brew I don't know I don't get cold brew coffee so I don't know anything about it hi thanks for choosing scooters what can I get you for you um yeah hold give me one second no problem if you have any questions or need any suggestions just let me know okay thank you I think I'm ready. Okay, okay, what can I get you? Um, I want one of your um, everything bagel sandwiches. Okay. And um, a praline caramelicious blender. Large? Uh, just a small one's fine. Okay. And then, um, and how much is a small one, just out of curiosity? Um, okay, so the small is 565, okay. and then to upsell to a large is 650. So just it's only like 90 cents more. Yeah, just a small, and I've got a coupon for half off too on a drink. Just yeah, and then uh, just one of your sugar cookies. Alrighty, can I get you anything else? No, I think that's it. Perfect, go ahead and scoot around. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> scoot around, I like that. Yeah. Fine, it's gonna be 14.15. Oh, I'm sorry. You no, stuck it on a piece of paper. <laughs> it looked like you had a death grip on it, and I was like, <laughs> Alrighty, there you have it. Alright, there's your cookie, and I also gave you an extra napkin for that. Thank one. you. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to find a place to park. Um, park lot's got a lot of spots, but there's also a lot of spots filled up. Um, I think I'll go over it. Story. Okay, so I will um, be back in just a second. All right, so here is the bagel, uh, everything bagel. Um, it look, it's sausage and egg and cheese. And then here's my sugar cookie, which looks really good. It's huge sugar cookie. And there's the um, praline uh, caramelicious blender. It's like a, it's kind of like a milkshake, but it's like a, I don't know what Starbucks has. It's an equivalent to one of the Starbucks drinks. It's like more of a um, a milkshake, a frozen dessert than an actual coffee. But anyway, there it is. So I'm going to get turned around and I'll let you know prices and everything. And I'll be right back. All right. So I'm going to put the drink down on the side. So I won't end up knocking it in the floor, which could very well happen with me. Um, so the everything bagel sandwich, um, was $4 and 95 cents. The small blended praline, praline, praline caramelicious blender, the blended, um, was $5 and 65 cents. And the frosted sugar cookie is two dollars and seventy-five cents. So that's how much everything is. Um, my subtotal was thirteen thirty-five. I did have a half off the drink, so they sent some coupons out. Um, the half off the drink gave me um, two dollars and eighty-three cents off. So my total with tax and everything was eleven fifteen. So that was with the with the half off the drink discount and everything. So meh, not too awfully bad. Now I can say that the sandwich is kind of messy. Um, it looks like they put it in some kind of like a, they didn't microwave it. It didn't look like it was microwaved. It looked like it was toasted in a, like a little toaster oven, um, which is fine with me. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure um, you know Starbucks, most other coffee places put theirs in like a, a microwave or a toaster oven too. So I'm I'm not too stressed about it. So this is what it looks like.
I don't know if that has a cheese or a sauce on it. I guess it's the cheese. It's dripping. <laughs> I tell you what. That sausage is spicy. It's got some um, good... Um, it's got a good flavor to it, but it's also got some heat to it. See if I can hold it up for you. That's what it looks like. Flavor-wise, it's pretty good. You get the egg flavor. You get the sausage flavor. Like I said, it's got some spice to it. Um, the bagel itself, you get the chew from it and the really good texture. I don't get a lot of flavor from the everything bagel just because the sausage is spicy. Um, I think this would be good just to have the bagel itself. That would be a good um, bagel with just some cream cheese. That would be that'd be awesome. I love a bagel with cream cheese. Just have napkins on hand because you are going to make a little bit of a mess with this, uh, with the cheese, I think, more than anything. Um, I guess if I let it set for a little while, the cheese would firm up and not be quite as melty, but then it wouldn't be as hot. So, I think it's good. The, um, I think it's a little expensive for what you get, but it is, you know, a hot sandwich at a restaurant. So I guess it's okay. Um, but it is, it is a little expensive, just to let you know. Um, I do really like the flavors. The flavors are really, really good. It's spicy though. If you don't like a spicy food, you probably wouldn't want to get that, but I like it. It's a good level of spice for me. I don't, I don't like really, really hot food, but I do like, um, I enjoy a little bit of spice, and I, I, this is a good spice for me. It's a, it's a good level of spice. Um, I'm going to try this uh, praline um, caramelicious blended uh, first. You can tell it's really got a good layer of um, whipped cream and caramel on top, and they uh, put the domed lid on top of it. I like the little sticker they stick on there. Um, it, and when I stuck it in there, it really wasn't as thick as like a milkshake, but it's, it's thicker than just like a, a milk, so... Well, definitely coffee. Woo. Yeah, it's very, it's like an iced coffee. Um, they really don't put a lot of ice cream in here. It's really, uh, um, it's really more coffee. I'll tell you what though, it's a good coffee. Now, do I get praline? Not necessarily. Um, I do get it sweet. It's a very sweet creamer to coffee is what it tastes like to me. Um, with a touch of caramel flavor, I do get a little bit of a caramel flavor, but not a, it's not like a really strong caramel flavor, but it's good. I like it. Um, they also have a pumpkin spice version of them. That would also be pretty good. Um, now let me try the sugar cookie. It's a big sugar cookie. Break it in half. It has uh, frosting. It has a cream cheese frosting and sprinkles on top. And you see about how thick it is too. Kind of a dense, chewy cookie. Um, has a crisp, like an outside layer, but then the inside's kind of chewy. Um, the frosting's good. It's good and sweet. That's just a nice vanilla flavor. I really don't get the, like a strong cream cheese flavor, but it does have a really good, strong vanilla flavor. I like the cookie too. The cookie's really good. Um, I think the cookie may fill you up more than the actual sandwich will, but let me judge each one of them separately. So the cookie, the cookie I'm going to give, you know, it's a good cookie. It's not like over the top, you know, it's not like a, like a crumble or something like that, but it's better than a lot of cookies you're going to get at like a restaurant. So I'm going to give the cookie like a four and a half out of five. I really do like it. Maybe a four. 
no, I'll stick with four now. I, I like the flavors. It's a really good vanilla. The textures are good. It doesn't, it seems fairly fresh. It's not warm, of course, but it seems fresh. It's not dried out or hard or anything like that. So it's got a good flavor. I like it. The uh, everything bagel sandwich, I like. I like the flavor of the smoke, the spicy sausage. If you don't like spicy sausage, it's going to be a little less appealing to you. But um, if you like the spicy sausage and you really like that, um, just a really good chewy texture of the bagel, that is going to get a four out of five for me. I do like it, but it does seem, it seems like it's a no better necessarily than a microwave sandwich, although the sausage is a lot better. So that's why I'm going to give it a four instead of like a, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I think that's fair. The drink itself, it's not something I would probably get a lot of, but I don't really somebody gun in their engine um i don't really get uh, like a just sweet coffees i don't really get coffees like this at a coffee shop i think if you drink iced coffees or especially the coffees like starbucks and all those sell that have a little bit of the ice cream and they're sweetened up like almost a milkshake um i think you'll like this i was expecting it to be thicker um not quite milkshake texture but i was expecting it to be a little thicker because it does have it's supposed to have ice cream in it um, so I was expecting a little thicker texture and it's really not, it's very watery, just like drinking a regular coffee. So, um, so that was a little disappointing to me, but the flavor was, the flavor is good. I'm going to give it also a four out of five. So everything here is overall, the restaurant is a four out of five for me. Um, there's nothing bad here at all. It's definitely recommended. If you like coffee, if you're, if you're a Starbucks drinker, try this out. I don't know if it's any cheaper or better necessarily than Starbucks because I don't drink Starbucks, but, um, but it's definitely worth giving them a shot if you already drink Starbucks. They might have a flavor that really appeals to you that's better than what Starbucks has. I don't know. So, um, yeah, overall, pretty good experience. If you have one in your area, go for it. This is the only one in this area, but I know they're a chain. So uh, they are. They do franchise out, so they're all over the place. Um, so you can find them around, scattered out everywhere. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.